is for alligator, B is for bear, also. C is for chameleon, chameleon. D is for dove. E is for elephant. <laughs> oh, hello. Hola, hola. I was just looking at this book that's full of animals. This one is a frog. Here we have a giraffe. A hippopotamus, hippopotamo. That reminds me. We're coloring a picture of animals today. Each animal to Adam came. Then he gave each one a name. In Genesis 2.19, we learn that Adam named all the animals. So why don't I count to ten? So you can quick go grab your coloring books and crayons and markers or colored pencils, whatever it is that you like to use to color with. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Espero que hayan regresado. I hope that you're back because let's start coloring. Hmm, there are so many animals to color on this page. Don't forget that you can click the link in the description and download your own picture to color, just like mine. I think we should start with the lion, el león. Let's see here. Let's color his mane. And let's color the very end of his tail, la punta de la colita. Let's color the lion's body, el cuerpo. And his face, la cara. Okay, we finished with the lion. Let's move on to the snake, serpiente. Let's use green, verde. Let's color his ears pink, color rosa. The nose, nariz, and a little bit of his tummy. <laughs> Good. Now, the penguin. Let's use black, negro. Okay, and we'll use a little bit of orange for his feet. his 
big. There we go. Next, let's do the turtle, la tortuga. Turtles are usually green, verde. Let's use a little bit of brown café. And let's use a light green for the body. There. Uh-oh. We have a frog, una rana. And it's green too. But not to worry. I have another color green. Otro verde. Now for the pig, el cerdito. A nice, clean, pink pig. Now we have a rabbit. Let's turn the rabbit just a little bit so we can see it better. There we go. Hmm. Should we do a brown rabbit? Conejo? Café? A gray rabbit, conejo gris, or even a white rabbit, conejo blanco. Hmm. In the country where I grew up, they were brown rabbits. So let's make it a brown rabbit, un conejo café. We'll leave the tail white, blanco. And we'll add some pink to the ears. Las orejas. And for the nose. There. Here we have a zebra, una cebra. So we're going to need black again. A zebra with black stripes. Now I'm coloring the animals this way, but you can actually color your zebra whatever color you want. Maybe you want to give your zebra rainbow stripes or maybe you want to color your zebra all one color. It doesn't matter. It's however you want to color your picture. I want to color his mane but I want to give it a little different color. I'm gonna do a gray mane. There, and let's give him a skin color, color piel, for the mouth. There, hmm. Let's make his hooves the same color as his mouth. Pesuñas, hooves. Now we've come to the hippopotamus. El hipopótamo. Let's pick gray. He's a big hipopótamo. Un hipopótamo grande. Big hippopotamus. There we go. Let's give him a nice pink mouth. Boca mouth. Okay. His nose too, a little pink. Now we have a monkey. Make a nice brown monkey.
just right. And now, our dairy cow. Get our black marker again, marcador negro. And we need some pink, color rosa. She has a bell around her neck, so let's color the bell a yellow. And it looks like she's wearing a collar. Let's make it a blue collar. Collar azul. And it looks like she's eating some straw or some hay. Hmm. We already made her bell yellow, so let's make it more of a green color. That would make it some hay. There we go. She has some horns, so let's use some gray for the horns. And let's put some gray on her hooves, the suñas. I think that looks all right. Oh, we have a little kitty cat, un gato. Let's make this cat brown. Now for the fox, el zorro. Okay, and now we have a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Un pato. We're gonna make this duck white, but we're gonna color his feet and his bill yellow. Now we have a hen, una gallina. We're gonna make the hen a brown hen. Give her a red comb. Give her some orange feet. Look, my marker dripped on my giraffe. Does that ruin my picture? No, it's still a great picture. Let's color the giraffe. We already have a lot of orange, so I'm gonna color the giraffe yellow, amarillo, jirafa amarillo. There, now let's get some brown and color in those spots. And let's get a little different brown for the neck. There, are we finished? No, we need to color the bird, pájaro, and the parrot, el loro. I, we don't have any red on this page, so I'm gonna make it a red parrot, un loro rojo. Now usually parrots are many different colors, so let's add some blue to this parrot, azul. Let's also add some yellow, amarillo. There! That looks like a scarlet macaw, a great parrot, loro. And for our bird, hmm, let's make it a blue bird, un pájaro azul. We'll use a light blue, un azul claro. The cap of this marker looked blue, but it didn't turn up being gray. This is not blue, azul, es gris, gray. 
what can I do to fix it? Hmm, I've got an idea. Let me try to put some blue over top of it. Do I have another blue? Huh, let's try this one. Here goes nothing. Even though I accidentally colored it the wrong color, I was able to make it right. So when we have problems or make mistakes, we shouldn't get upset. No debemos enojarnos. We should just take a breath and see what we can do to fix it or change it. We need to color Adam. Let's use this color. We'll give him some brown hair. Cabello café. We don't know what color of hair Adam had or even what he looked like. So we can color him however we want him. Okay, we have some letters. Let's color the letters purple. And let's do a pattern. Let's do purple and purple and red. Adam names the animals, Genesis 2.19. Adán nombra los animales, Genesis 2.19. Okay. Now let's use red. Rojo. And for the address of the Bible verse, let's color it dark blue. Azul oscuro. Before I go, I think we should color this last sign that Adam's holding. Let's color it a bright green. There we did it. Let's color the border and be done. Let's do purple. Morado. Here we go. There. Hecho. All done. Now remember, I would love to see the pictures you have colored. Whether you've colored a picture in your own coloring book or colored the same one I'm coloring. Have an adult Take a picture with their phone or a camera and email it to me. My email is in the description. Well, I'm going to go back and look at my animal book some more. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.